Getting rid of rubbish these days can be problematic and as a builder I create lots of waste. Now one thing I never do is have those guys that drive by see your rubbish and say they're taking away for 150 quid, 200 quid or whatever because a lot of the time that finishes up in a country lane so I never go there. I hire skips but if you're putting a skip on the road you need a permit and in some London boroughs where I work it costs you £100 a day to put the skip on the road so you don't want that hanging around for long. Now another really convenient way that I use is the hippo bag. You can have a hippo bag in your van ready to go so that if you do need to clear rubbish you can simply load it up and make a request to have it collected by the hippo lorry. Now the hippo lorry is roughly the size of a dust cart so if the dust cart can get down your street so can the hippo lorry and the great thing is that grab arm means that it can pick the bag up from off your property so long as it's got good access to it. Now the collection procedure is totally contactless in other words you make the request the guy arrives you've already made the payment he doesn't need to meet you you can just winch it away and you can wave to him out the window if you like. Now the hippo bag comes in three different sizes for this job we've got the mega bag and the mega bag you can more or less fill up with heavy rubble or anything like that because you won't exceed the weight limit of one and a half tons. Now the really good thing is that you can put plasterboard in the hippo bag so long as you segregate it, put it inside another bag, put it inside some polythene, wrap it up just so that they can take it to the waste transfer station and take that plasterboard away as a separate item. About 90% of the things that you put into a hippo bag will be recycled. Everything goes to the waste transfer station and they pick through it and they take out the things like the iron and even the rubble is recrushed and used again. So that saves on landfill. So this is the Hippo Mega Bag, the mid-range one if you like, and you can see that it gives you 1.5 cubic yards. Now this is enough to get the whole bathroom suite in, so as a plumber I find that particularly handy. So on the other side we've got the instructions, the important bit you need to know, how much space it takes up, what you can put in it, what you can't put in it, and it just gives you some guidance here about the collection as well, putting it in that accessible place. Some electrical items are not uh, Allowed. batteries, chemicals, food or clinical waste, asbestos, liquids and corrosive substances, gas bottles, toxic or hazardous waste, aerosols or any compressed canisters and lastly wet paint tins. So when you're setting the bag up it's a good idea just to fold the edges down because what that does is it helps the bag to stand up while you're beginning the loading operation. Of course, unlike a skip, you don't have to put a ramp up there and barra things up to a great height. And what I really like about this bag is that you can actually get a bath inside it. So just to give it some sense of scale, I thought I'd lie down in it. You can see I'm just about five foot ten and a half. I thought you were about six foot, surely. Too short, one short one end. Now when I started in this business, customers expected you to take the rubbish away, but now with such a huge cost and the fact you can't just take it down to your local refuse place and dispose of it because they won't even let the vans in, you have to think about this when you're quoting for the job. Ask the customer, do you want me to take the rubbish away? If they say yes, add the cost of the hippo bag. Now every builder knows this, but if you've got metal, leave it on the top because when the scrap guys come round, if they see it tangled up, they're gonna chuck everything out of your bag just to get at the metal. So if you make it nice and easy for them, then they just take it and go away. 